This is my review of Registry Genius software. Registry Genius uh, is probably something that you would download for a slow running PC and it has a number of features on it which um, ostensibly allow you to tune your PC and get it back to something like the performance that you got when the machine was brand new. Uh, I'm just going to go through the interface fairly quickly and then I'll go into the various parts of it in depth. This is the home screen that is shown when you um, load the program. Um, there are some shortcuts on here that you can go straight into uh, which are highlighted as you put the mouse over them. Up at the top here is the register button and you you will need to register this software and pay for it before you can actually make any repairs to your system. If you're using the free unregistered version it shows you what errors you've got on your system but it doesn't allow you to correct any of them. The second button down is the scan button and this has um, a register cleaner which I'll go into later, uh, an evidence cleaner um, this seems to be a fairly effective part of the program and a temporary file remover which I didn't find worked well at all and an uninstall manager um, I haven't actually tested that I've just looked at it third one down is the optimize button you've got a disk defrag facility uh, I actually use a free um, utility for defragging my disk which runs continuously in background and uh, becomes active when the machine's not being used for about 10 minutes. I find that to be very effective. So I wouldn't actually be interested in this particular option. You've got a reboot accelerator which um, allows you to disable unwanted programs and services. Uh, a system optimizer which um, allows you to use a wizard to disable services that are not required of which there are many in win both Windows XP and Windows 7 and a memory optimizer which did seem to reduce the amount of paged memory but didn't have much effect on performance for me. There's a rescue button over here next and this allows you to create a full registry backup. This is one thing that I did like about this program because it allows you to create a normal Windows registry backup which you can integrate into the registry without running Registry Genius which is quite good if um, Registry Genius is broken for any reason. File recovery, I did test it but it, it ran for hours without producing any results so I can't recommend that. And the repair wizard which again I haven't tested but it allows you to do things like replacing lost icons and stuff like that. The advanced key, uh, the driver manager is supposed to detect and update outdated drivers and this did appear to run but again took, too, took far too long and uh, didn't give sufficient feedback to show what it was doing. The process is one I, um, I'll just go back to that again. Um, this uh, is supposed to show any processes that might have attached themselves to your system uh, and provide threats to your computer. That ran for an awful long time and didn't produce any results. System vulnerability recovery. Um, downloads Microsoft updates which are missing from, from your system. This appeared to download some updates but then 
got itself into a loop on one of the updates and I had to use the task manager to close the program. I'm going to pause this video now and uh, restart shortly. So now I'm going to look at the buttons individually so we'll go to the scan button first. Probably the primary reason for buying this program is the registry fix feature. Now when you open this the first time everything will be selected. I recommend doing each section individually that way if you get any false positives in other words keys which um, are said to be faulty or empty but which are not um, it can make them much easier to track down so if you click the select all box down here and then choose the first one and click scan now I'm just going to pause the video while this finishes it takes a few minutes so this is found 63 faults and if I click the plus button here it expands and shows you individually which keys in the registry are going to be repaired. Now it's found 63 faults on this machine and I've recently reloaded Windows XP on this machine and I've only installed a few bare minimum programs. Bear in mind that I've only scanned one section of the registry so it's found an awful lot of so-called faults and this is my main problem with this Registry Genius program in that it seems to find much more false positives than other registry cleaning programs. I know that if I was to click repair now having scanned this that the next time I try and load Registry Genius it won't load and I will have to reload the program. So it's finding a false positive for its own registry entries. So whilst it will clean your registry you'll find that you'll have to spend an awful lot of time going through and restoring repaired entries to get your all your programs working again. So I'm going to go back and move on to the next tab which is the results tab and it shows the number of faults here and when you've cleaned them it shows the number that have been cleaned which is going to be all of them. If you know that it's found a false positive you you can um, add it to the exclude list and you'll find these on here and any future scans it will ignore this these uh, register keys. The scheduling tab I confess I haven't um, looked at that it doesn't seem to be a very useful function to schedule a registry scan um, if you want to run a registry scan whilst you're not using the machine I suggest you set it running with all the boxes ticked um, and leave it probably lasting at night so that it will be done by the time you come in the morning If I go back to the scan button and look at the other options here, you've got the evidence cleaner. This cleans out uh, such things as your uh, address bar history, your Internet Explorer cache, cookies, etc. etc. Um, going right the way through anything in Windows which um, creates a history for itself and also some um, independent programs and this does seem to work quite well um, and is quite a quick way to clean up your machine. Having said that all it will do is um, give you back some hard drive space and it won't actually improve the 
performance of your machine, although it may help such things as Internet Explorer load a little bit quicker. The temporary file remover um, didn't seem to work at all well. I set it to run on quite a small hard drive and after a couple of hours it's still running and not showing any results which when you consider all it's doing is searching for files um, it really doesn't seem to cut the mustard. The uninstall manager um, allows you to uninstall programs, applications without using the Windows uninstall one. I haven't tested this but I imagine it's got the advantage that having uninstalled the program it will clean the register key keys more efficiently than the Windows uninstall which is notorious for leaving uh, garbage behind in the registry when you've taken the program off your computer. So that's the scan button and we'll have a look at the optimize button next. Here we are on the optimize button and you've got a disk defrag facility here. Um, this didn't seem to offer any advantage over the standard uh, Windows defrag. Um, I use a, a free utility which I downloaded off the um, internet for defragging my own disk which runs in background and uh, comes into play when the system's not been used for a few minutes and that seems to work very very efficiently so I haven't got a need for this myself. Uh, Reboot Accelerator um, allows you to take out programs which are not necessary when the system's starting up which will give you a quicker start up time. Um, it is quite an easy way to tune up your start up time and that's something you might find quite useful. system optimizer um, disables unnecessary services that are run when Windows start and this is a sort of a wizard which allows you to do that very quickly by selecting different models um, such as notebook, home, um, office model etc and it shows you down here what services are going to be disabled. This um, potentially will improve the performance of your machine quite well and um, it, it can be done manually but it needs quite a lot of research to find out which services are necessary and which ones you can disable. There are an awful lot of services in Windows that most people don't have any need for so this is a potentially good method of tuning your machine. Uh, the memory optimizer I did test and found that it gave me a slightly lower page memory than before I'd run it um, but it didn't appear to give any boost in system performance. So that's the optimize button. The next we'll be looking at the rescue button. This is the uh, rescue option. Uh, one thing I did like about this program, Register Genius, is the registry backup because this produces uh, a backup of the registry which can be loaded by RegEdit, the Windows uh, registry editing program and that means that if anything goes wrong and you cannot load Registry Genius you can still restore the registry just using the normal uh, Windows tools. 
Um, this uh, is fairly simple. Um, it just automatically creates a registry backup uh, when you click the backup button. Just going to do that now and I'll pause the video till it's finished. And it just gives you this message when it's finished, and that's the path where it stores the registry backup. So we'll go back to rescue file recovery. Um, I ran this on a small disk and it ran for hours and hours and never produced any results. So the best I can say about this is no comment. The repair wizard um, does have some quick repair options here like for instance uh, my computer is no longer displayed uh, recycle bin no longer displayed so it's a quick fix for some of the annoyances that happen in windows from time to time so that might be useful so in the next part we'll go on to the advanced button So this is the advanced option in Registry Genius. Um, driver Manager um, is supposed to download updated drivers uh, from the internet and keep your drivers up to date. However, um, when I ran this, it um, got part way through and got itself into a loop and I had to use the uh, task manager to stop the program so unfortunately this doesn't seem to be an, uh, an entirely useful option processes um, again uh, this ran for an awful long time and didn't produce any useful results what it's supposed to do is look at any processes which have embedded themselves into window without your knowledge and pose a security risk but unfortunately uh, it ran for a long time and again I had to use the task manager to stop it this uh, system vulnerability recovery um, what it actually does is automatically download any Windows security updates which you've not installed on your system. Um, if you've got automatic updates turned on, this shouldn't be an issue, but um, it is a way of checking whether your system's up to date, so it is uh, a fairly useful one. You just click the scan button here and it searches for updates, and after a while, it uh, provides a list here and here we've got a list of Windows um, updates that haven't been installed on this machine um, and if I click repair now it will automatically download these updates and keep your machine up to date with the latest Microsoft security uh, in, um, updates so that's Registry Genius um, as I say the main dis disadvantage with this is that um, apart from it disabling itself when you run a registry scan um, it also is limited to a 12 month licensing period after which you have to renew your license and pay the licensing fee again so this would not be at the top of my list of recommended programs for tuning your PC.